Hello, Jay here, welcome to eonsbattle.com, and today we're going to be painting up a cultist. Now the scheme that I was going with is a, a darker cultist with a light cowl, so the first thing I did was I painted his, his, um, his robes purple, a very very dark purple. So I just went around the entire robe and I painted it purple. I took care to make sure that I didn't get it into any of the other black areas. It's not terribly important at this point. And then once that, that was finished, I then began dry brushing lighter, another lighter shade of purple onto just the robed areas. Make sure that you're, it's only a very, very a small bit lighter than the other paper because it looks much better when you're painting cloth to dry brush. A few, a few different shades as opposed to a darker shade and then a lighter shade. Now I'm going in with a lighter shade of purple, the lightest one I'm going to use. And now his robes are finished. I then went in with a dark, dark brown to paint his uh, bandages and his boots. Once that was finished, I then uh, did a quick little dry brush of a dark, of a lighter brown onto the dark brown. Take care that you don't get it onto the purple robes. I then did a very, very faint dry brushing of a, of a tan. Now that those areas finished, I went on to the gun. Now I didn't use any metallics for the gun, I actually used grays. I didn't want the gun to be, <clears throat> I didn't want the gun to take away from the overall focal point of the model, which is the head, so I went in with uh, grays to paint the gun. I then began to paint the cowl and hood, so I painted several shades of a tan. And once it was completely covered, I then gave it a few dry brushings. The, the first dry brushing was of a slightly lighter tan. And then I did a light dry brushing of white. I then went in with a gray and I picked out one of the little uh, pieces of his hood. Give it two coats. Then I brought back the dark brown to hit some of his little stitches. A little bit of dark gray for his eyepiece. I went back in with the dark brown on his belt and his gun strap. A little light gray on his little gear emblem and on his uh, little oxygen tank and then I took Games Workshop Ergrax Earthshade and I gave a, uh, a heavy coat of all of these uh, brown and tan areas and his gray um, oxygen tank I went a little bit lighter on the hood because I wanted it to be still be very bright when it dries because that's the focal point of the model. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any other ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do, please leave in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of our content, you can visit our website at eonsbattle.com.